Hi everyone. The Avada Setup Wizard is a great tool designed to get you started with your Avada website as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at how this fantastic feature works. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I've just installed Avada here, and as you can see with a clean install of Avada the Setup Wizard runs automatically. With an update, it's available from the System Status page, found under Maintenance from the Avada dashboard. But the Setup Wizard is most useful on a clean install, so you generally won't want to run it once you have begun building your site. But on a fresh install, whether you intend to build a pre-built site to customise, or you're going to build a site from scratch, the Wizard can save you hours of initial setup, and have you ready to build in no time at all. As we can see, the Setup Wizard is personalised for the user. This pulls the display name publicly as section of the user profile, so it will show whatever is there. The wizard starts with registration. Here you simply need to paste in your purchase code. Upon registration, the required plugins Avada Core and Avada Builder are also installed and activated. Once you register, the setup wizard moves to step 2, where you select the setup wizard type. With this step, the setup wizard forks, depending on your choice. As you can see, the choices are pre-built website and new website. You can also add website basics here, such as the site title and site tagline. Let's go through the two options from here. Pre-built website is selected by default, so let's start with that wizard. I'll just update my site tagline here, and then click on next step. This takes us to step three of this wizard, where you choose which pre-built site to import. Just like the website page, you can filter and preview the sites. This branch of the setup wizard is short and sweet, as a lot of the possible choices in setting up a website are made for you by choosing a specific pre-built site. As soon as I select one, I'm taken to step 4. This shows a summary of what features will be imported with the pre-built site, and there's a complete setup button at the top here. When you click that, the import process begins. This takes a minute or two depending on the site selected, and the features the wizard needs to install. Each step is marked off as they are completed, and when it's done, we are redirected to a final page, where we find a range of links to edit or view the site, manage layouts, menus and global options, create a support account, or begin your learning journey with the documentation and videos. I'll just click on Visit Site, and the website opens in a new tab. And here we can see the chosen pre-built site has been imported, and we are ready to start customising the site. Ok, so now I'll just reset this installation so we can look at the other setup type, New Website. So I'm back at step 2 after registering again, and this time I will select New Website. I'll just update my site tagline again. And now this time when we click Next, we can see new steps along the top, and here we start with step 3, Colours. Here you select or build your website colour palette. You can filter using the colours along the top, and choose from a pre-built website palette, or alternatively, you can set your own custom palette up from the custom palette button. I'll just filter to orange here, and start with this colour palette. We are then taken to a further colour page. Here you can see a small content example, and your chosen colour palette below. At the top here you can go back to the palettes, and in the middle there are options to choose a light or a dark skin. Dark looks pretty good here, but I think I will stick with light for this example. There are also arrows at the right if you want to scroll through the various preset colour palettes. There's also a Customise button at the bottom here, which opens the palette editing options below this, and this is the way the page would load if you had clicked Custom Palette in the previous option. Here you can completely customise the colour palette with whatever colours you prefer, and at the bottom there are accessibility recommendations for both contrast and luminance order. You can set your colour palette up completely how you wish, but for maximum integration with Avada Studio, it's best you set the colours in order of luminance, so from the lightest to the darkest as you go down the palette. It's also recommended to maintain your contrast ratios with colour 1 and colour 5, and with colour 4 and colour 8, as these are paired in Avada Studio content as well. If you wish to add further colours to your palette, you can do this once the setup wizard has completed, in the Global Options, Colour tab. Ok, so I'm happy with the colour palette, so I will click Next Step, which takes us to Step 4, Typography. Here you can choose visually from a range of pre-built typography sets. These font family combinations have been put together by our designers, to help you get a great start to your typography choices. 
Just scroll through and choose one that best suits your style. I think I will just choose the first one here. When you make a selection, it takes you to the next typography page, where if you want you can tweak your base font size and choose from preset sizing ratios for your headings to give you the look you want. I'm happy with 16 pixels as the base font size, and the sizing ratio default is set to perfect fourth. There are a range of options here, and each one changes the size of the titles in relation to the base font. I think I will stick with perfect fourth. Again, you can always customize these choices in the global options typography tabs once the wizard is complete. Once we click next step, we go to step five, layouts. In this step, we choose the header and footer we want for the website. Here, a default header and footer layout section is selected, but you can also choose from any of the Avada Studio headers and footers at this point. If I click on select header, the Avada Studio headers dialog opens, and we can choose our header. I can select one of these by clicking the plus button. It gets pulled into the wizard, and as we can see, it comes in with the colors from my chosen color palette. With the import options along the bottom, we can customize how this header will look in our design. By default, it's on local colors and typography, but you can also change it to the studio default. There's also an option for whether to import any images or use placeholders, and there's an invert option to flip the colors. For my example though, I think I will just revert to the default header by clicking the default button here. After this you can set a logo for your website if you have one ready to go, but you can of course just add this later in the created header layout section. If you don't add one, a text logo is added using the site title. I'm just going to go with that option. Under this there is the option for the footer layout. Again there is a default footer chosen, but you can also choose from any of the studio footers available. I'm happy with the default footer here, so I will click next step. Now we come to step six, content. Here you can select from a range of additional pages and features to be added to your website through the setup wizard. This step alone can save you literally hours of work. To select a page or feature, you just click on it, and you can unselect by simply clicking again. Firstly, there are basic pages here, like home, about, services, and reviews. If these are selected, the pages will simply be created and filled with Avada Studio starter content. There are even animated previews here to show you how they will look, and these even use the colors from your color palette. You can also rename any of these pages via the label underneath. For example, I'll just rename blog to news. With the other pages and features, a bit more happens behind the scenes when the wizard does its thing. See the how to use the Avada Studio setup wizard documentation linked below for a full list of exactly what happens for each page and feature. But for example, when portfolio is selected, the portfolio custom post type is enabled, a portfolio page is created with studio content, layouts are created for both single portfolios and portfolio archives, and these are populated with relevant layout sections with studio content. It's not listed anywhere on the page, but based on your selections here, a menu is also created for these new pages and assigned to the header layout section, and basic search and 404 layouts are also created. For this video, I will select all the possible pages and features here, and I'll leave import dummy content selected at the top here. As the description explains, this allows the creation of dummy blog posts, portfolio items, and shop products to be created, which provides you with content to populate the layouts created for these items, and leaves you with a fully functioning site ready to be customized with your own content. I'll also scroll to the bottom here, and here I can select further features to be added to this site. I might just select a couple more plugins to be installed. Okay, now I'm ready, so I'll click on next step. Step seven is the final step, and this step just lists what's about to happen. Depending on what you have chosen, you'll see different steps listed here. All there is left to do now is click on complete setup, and wait for your various choices to be actioned by the wizard. Depending on what you have chosen, this will take a minute or two. Each step is ticked off as it's completed, and when it's complete, we are redirected to the final page of the setup wizard. Here, as with the other wizard, there are links to edit or view the site, a range of customization links, a link to create a support account, and our documentation links. Let's just click on visit site to see what the wizard has created. It opens in a new tab, and here's our new starter website. We can see our imported header with our chosen colors and typography, and a menu with all our newly created pages. As we scroll down, we can see the page has a basic layout with placeholder studio content. 
You can then of course customize this content or delete it entirely and add different studio content or build the page completely yourself. The wizard is meant to get you set up as quickly as possible with some example content, but the choices remain all yours. If we look at the shop, we can see there have been some dummy products made. And if we look at the blog, we can see a custom layout. And if we go into an individual blog post, we can again see a custom layout. The other pages are the same, with their own layouts and starter content. So that's the Avada Setup Wizard. Thanks for watching. This fantastic tool can get you set up ready to go in a few minutes whether you're using one of our pre-built sites or you're starting a new website from scratch. For a new site, the Setup Wizard can save you literally hours of setup time. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use the Avada Setup Wizard. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.